Let's start with very simple window. So create plane, change object color if needed, make object transparent and divide it so it's matching reference image. In my case it's 9 by 7 and convert it to edible poly. Now you can move edges around to match your reference. Next, I will target weld corners to create 45 degree angle in each corner. This will help me to create space for inner extrusion in the window frame. Next, I will select all the edges inside of main frame and use connect to create loop. I will repeat this process two more times. This will create additional geometry that I will use to extrude window frame as shown on reference. After that I will weld some birds. This will lower poly count and will keep my geometry clean. This process may take some time, but you will be glad with time saved when you start UV mapping. After you finish welding, delete the inside panels. We will replace them with single plane later. Use shell modifier to add the thickness to your window. Remember to adjust the thickness of the window. I'll keep my window thin because I'll extrude front portion of it. Next I'll convert my mesh to edible poly and I'll start extruding front portion of my window. In polygon mode select outer edges of your window and extrude them forward. And now I can apply inner extrusion on my window. After selecting desired polyfaces, I click extrude button and I'll change my value to negative number. This will create inward extrusion. So now I need to add one more panel that will represent glass in my window. Remove extra segments. So hide your references and preview your window. If you need to make adjustments, please do them before you start UV mapping. Thank you and good luck.